Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. You know, in these short videos we've been doing, we've covered a lot of things about shooting handguns, handgun safety, how to load and unload, but one of the most important things if you're shooting a handgun is uh, having a proper sight picture. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you're shooting a single action like this or even an old German Luger, your favorite 1911 or a double action revolver. Maintaining the proper sight picture is very important to uh, maintaining an accuracy level that you might want. What we're going to do today is explore a little bit about what is a sight picture and uh, how do you acquire one and how do you maintain it and what are some important points to keep in mind when you are aiming your handgun. Something to keep in mind is that the, uh, the general idea of how to aim the gun applies regardless of what kind of sight you have on the gun. Now this is a single action army and it's unloaded. What I'm going to do is cock the hammer so now you'll be able to actually see the sights. We have a front sight blade and rather than a really fancy uh, adjustable rear sight, what we have here is just a simple U or square notch cut into the top strap. But exactly the same thing applies here. We need to align the top of the front sight with the top of the rear sight. We need to have the same light on either side of it and you need to have a really good trigger press. If the front sight's too high, the bullet's going to go high too low it's going to go too low, right and left, or if you mess up the trigger press and jerk it at the last second, who knows where it's going to go. Just remember that regardless of the handgun you pick up, the rules of the sight picture and the trigger press all apply. You know, let's talk about other unique sights. This old German Luger here uh, has very uh, interesting sights, a small front sight, a very small rear sight, but remember that all the rules still apply. Equidistant light on either side of the front sight blade, top blade, even with the top of the rear sight, and then an absolutely marvelous trigger press. Now this hasn't been a comprehensive training video about how you aim a gun. You need to reach out for more for that, but what it has done hopefully is given you just some basic ideas about the things that you need to be doing if you're at the range or you're shooting your gun. Maybe you can look at how you have been shooting and realize, geez, you know, I haven't been that careful about my sight picture until now. I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. Well, thanks for joining me in my office today.